So this is the uh, cone making tool with a pivot hole and the various other holes all marked as shown in the book. And to use it, we use it like this. You get a piece of petchy plastic cut roughly to the right size and we draw 20 millimetres from the edge, a straight line. So that's 20 millimetres away from the edge and we mark the centre line which is at there. And then at the centre point we punch a small hole. There's our hole and now we use a small nut and bolt to hold this in position. And once we've actually got this in position, we can now scribe out the uh, line. Just, just check we got it in the right position. Yeah, that'll do. And now an inner cone line. And now the position of the holes line this up so we can see what I call the little A and B holes and mark really, really carefully where those holes are uh, because the position of these holes is what determines the shape of the cone. Okay, so now quickly punch out the A and B holes. Okay, now we can cut the, uh, the sheet out. You can use an ordinary pair of uh, scissors. But I prefer to use the aviation snips because they're so much kinder to the uh, hands and I can cut quicker with them. Okay, now we've actually made our template for our cone. At this point we can whip the backing off. And then the next thing to do is uh, to develop this into the cone shape. You need a couple of bits of this uh, crafting adhesive. So the important thing is that each piece goes on the opposite side. Now this is a special type of double-sided tape. And what we do now is put this together, hold it carefully together first with a couple of nuts and bolts. And now we try the incredibly clever bit and what we have to do is get the backing off okay and here we go the temporary fixings can come off okay there you go one perfect cone